Okay, we're going to move on to something a little bit more complicated. We are going to take the integral of negative 1 over x squared dx. Okay, so the first thing we're going to want to do is um, try to convert this to something that's not a fraction because it's more difficult to take um, the integral or antiderivative of a fraction than it is to take uh, the antiderivative of um, uh, something that's not a fraction. So, um, the way that we're going to do that is move uh, the x squared up to the top. And, um, and the easiest way to do that is um, just to make the exponent negative. I'm going to go ahead and write a rule over here. Um, 1 over x squared is always the same as x to the negative 2. This is a rule that you can use um, to convert fractions um, to non-fractions. You can move the denominator up to the top um, if it's simple like this by just making the exponent negative. So that's what we're going to do here. Um, we're going to say the antiderivative of negative um, x to the negative 2 dx. And that 1 just fell away. It's, it's implied right here, but obviously we don't need to write it. So, um, so this is the new, um, the new integral. Um, and the way that we're going to take the integral uh, is the same way that we um, always take an integral. Write the x down here. Um, and then, of course, add 1 to the exponent. So this is a negative exponent. Um, so adding 1, um, this wouldn't be negative 3. It would, of course, be negative 1. Negative 2 plus 1 is negative 1. So the exponent here is negative 1. And then, as always, um, let's write the 1 in here to make this easier. The coefficient on this is negative 1. So, and you remember from previous videos that um, we always divide the coefficient by the new exponent. So, the coefficient, negative 1, divided by the new exponent, which is also negative 1, um, is our integral. And then, of course, we have plus c for a constant. And this is really messy, so we want to simplify this. Um, negative 1 over negative 1 is obviously just 1. This becomes 1. So that, that cancels. Um, and you just have x to the negative 1. So you could write x to the negative 1 plus c. Of course, um, x to the negative 1 is not uh, the prettiest way to finish a problem either. Um, and if we apply our rule over here, we've got a negative exponent on top. We can also... Um, reverse that rule and move this to the bottom. So for example, let's make another rule. If you have x squared, you can change that to be 1 over, um, sorry, let's say uh, negative 2. If this is your original function, you can change that to be 1 over x squared. Um, you just, to move um, something from the top uh, to the bottom or from the bottom to the top, you just um, change the positive or negative sign on the exponent. So this negative 1, um, we can change this to be 1 over x to the 1 by changing this from a negative to a positive. We put it on the bottom. And of course, we don't need 1 as an exponent. So we can just get rid of that. So it's 1 over x plus c. And that is our final answer, which is much prettier than this.